Excuse me? I'm being burned alive on a campfire! <laughs> This is on Steam, by the way, and it costs money. I don't know how much. I bought it a while ago. But it's like a detective thing. Okay. We've got a beautiful picture on our laptop here. The studio logo is like a slug. To whom it may concern, I was told I should contact this email in regards to a missing persons case. My best friend for years, Addison Mullins, has gone missing. I've tried the police, but they told me that they won't act on a missing persons case until 48 hours after an individual goes missing. The problem here is that Addison is a census taker and was sent out to collect information about a town called Lakewood. From my understanding, Lakewood has an unprecedented amount of disappearances, yet the police don't seem to care. I'm terribly afraid that Addison has fallen victim to whatever has been causing the numerous disappearances in the area. Yesterday, Addison contacted me with a disturbing message claiming someone was after her and that if I weren't to hear from her in 24 hours to get help. Well, here we are. Please help. Sincerely, Carmen Arios. We've got some... Mr. Mayor, before informing the police department search your son, Jake, has been called off. We have done everything in our power to solve this case, but found no leads. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me or anyone else in the department. To whom it may concern, I was told I could contact this email in regards to your missing persons case. That's oh, so already read this one. Okay, right, fine. Brilliant. Move on. Just the beautiful drawing in the trash. Okay. Let's drive to Lakewood. Let's look at the missing persons documents. Timothy McKinley went missing on August 12th in the foothills of Lakewood. McKinley, an internet blogger, went hiking near Lakewood and was reported missing six days after leaving for Lakewood. Close friends of McKinley mentioned him being obsessed with the missing persons cases around Lakewood and the conspiracy of paranormal activity being the potential cause. All right. Yes. Around 100,000 people are missing at any given time in the United States. Due to high volumes of investigations regarding homicides, rapes, burglaries, assaults, and other crimes, missing person cases receive low priority in most jurisdictions. I was like, what the fuck is that angle? Thank you, Lilith. I really oh, appreciate yeah. that. Sub. Gift subs really help out at the moment. As the tips. Welcome to Lakewood. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't laugh at the car accident, but that was a pretty funny car accident. S to crawl away. Who said I wasn't recording? I am. Like, I would say that at least 90% of horror games start with a car crash. I'm gonna need help getting this thing running. Find a way to Lakewood. Where the fuck am I? Hang on, it said I found a flashlight. There we go. Oh wow, this is a terrible flashlight. I like the aesthetic of this though. Like the, uh... Kind of like Roblox aesthetic, I'd call it. I don't know what else to say. Oh dear. What was that zombie game that was like Roblox but not? Oh god! There's no trees up here! How is that possible? I got a banana slug. One of ten banana slugs found. Fantastic. It's a Hello? This flashlight is nothing. Probably nothing. Oh, this is a cutscene? I'm not controlling this. A 
Okay. Can we get a weapon? Yes. All right. All right. Mr. Albert Bird, the Knight of Blank is once again upon us. As we prepare for the new celebrations and festivities, I assume that I can count on you to take care of the usual business of Blank, of the waste from last time. No one enjoys taking on the duties of Blank, but rest assured you will be greatly rewarded upon the next Blank. As usual, I'm sure it is no news to you that this Blank is of the utmost importance to the continu continuation of our prosperous community. Discard this message after reading it and may you forever be fruitful. And may the Blank forever be fruitful. So this is like some Lovecraftian shit going on, presumably. Where the town is worshipping some dark god and is gonna want to devour our flesh and make us into banana slugs or whatever. You know, the usual. Okay, that actually made me jump. <laughs> Why is there a hobbit here? Running around at night. All right. Where the fuck should I go? I guess along the road at this point? Or... I guess not. I guess into the tunnel. Well, I can see so well with my flashlight. It's such a great flashlight. Okay. I think that... Yep, we went the right way. We made it to town, guys. Thank fuck. All right, new journal entry. Speak with the gas attendant. Probably should put the knife away so I don't look like a serial killer. This looks like a nice, reliable man. <laughs> hey there, friend. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. No. <laughs> yes. Creatures. Now I think about naked creatures in the woods surrounding town. Can't say I do. I'm guessing that's why you're arriving here on foot. Yes. That would seem to be the case. Mind you help helping me fix my car? Well, the town mechanic is Mr. Bird, but he won't be available until tomorrow. You might want to look into getting a room at the Lakewood Motel. After what I saw, I don't want to be going back there till morning anyways. I'll be here for work in the meantime. What do you mean work? What brings you all the way out here to Lakewood? Landscaping. I'm just here scouting about some locations for a landscaping company. That's odd. Can't say I've heard anything about any landscaping plans for our town. Lake has been pretty much the same for as long as I can remember. Well, I'm seeing what they pay me to do. I understand. I'm heading home for the night. Talk to Grimelda over at the motel if you're interested in a room. Alright, let's go to the hotel. We're running. You run completely differently when you don't have the flashlight in your hand. Well, here's the motel. I guess Grimelda likes to just stand around outside her house like that guy does as well. Hi, Grimelda. You look lovely. Welcome to Lakewood Motel. How can I help you? I'd like a room. I'm starting to get a room here for the night. Who comes during in the middle of the night without any bags? I crashed down the road a bit and had to leave my car and walk here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Nothing much, just scouting locations for a landscaping company. I really wish they'd leave our town alone. It's been a nice and quiet community for so long. You wouldn't have to know anything about the recent disappearances in the area, would you? Suspicious as fuck. Ah, you must be talking about the census taker. Maybe. I've heard they've gone missing as well as many others. You wouldn't have to know anything about it, would you? Well, I believe the last time I saw the census taker was a few nights ago as they were headed into the bar across the way. You might not ask around there tomorrow. Here's your room. You'll be staying in cabin one. I feel like we're going to get attacked in the night and killed, and then that's going to be the end of the game. Need room key. I need to find cabin one then, apparently. Oh, hang on. Do I have to, like... There we go. Beautiful. What a beautiful room. Why is my flashlight a million times better in here? He's, like, burning my retinas off. <gasps> we found a code, guys. 
796. What did I write down? Get some sleep. No, I want to find the other half of the code. I don't care about anything else. Oh my god. These lamps are shit! <laughs> I'm not sure that's like normal water. What? Was I meant to see something there? I guess so. Uh, like... Oh, thank God. I did not notice anything there. Doesn't seem to be any other things I can interact with in here, so I guess the half of the code I found is like... For now. We'll go to sleep for now. Dream of being tied up and nothing. Uh, excuse me? I'm being burned alive on a campfire! <laughs> oh, it's a dream. Fuck. That was a hobbit. That was that was literally a hobbit. Speak with the bartender. There's no way it's morning, right? Is it the rake? It might be. Open the cabinet through the wall. I'm very proud of myself. I guess it is daytime. I guess that we just didn't open our curtains whatsoever. Can we steal this woman's shit while she's not here? Nothing. Nothing. All right, the bar across the road. I guess this building here, probably? Yes, the one that says bar. Got it. Okay, nice open plan bar as well. Fantastic. Hello. Before I talk to you, let me read this. My love, I can no longer understand the nerve that drives this town. My departure has been long overdue. What takes place in this town is beyond what I can fathom and endure. Please rest assured that I will not speak of what this place is, nor what the people of Lakeseed hide. I simply yearn for a lifestyle such as my sister's in the city. I pray that your father will understand my decision and not feel the need to take action. Either way, my fate is sealed and I will be leaving Lakewood tomorrow morning. Please do not come looking for me. I am not like you, and I can never accept the life you live. Sorry, we're closed until later today. And here investigators experience and have a couple of questions to ask you. Well, good luck with that. There's been plenty of investigators before you, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more. What's that supposed to mean? No one's ever solved the disappearances out here, let alone given a shit about the actual case, and I doubt you're any different. Look, I'm, tr I'm trying to find the last known whereabouts of a census taker by the name of Addison Mullins. The innkeeper mentioned seeing them heading here a few nights ago. Do you remember seeing them? I may have. Yes or no? I mean, I may or may not have had too many drinks to remember. Tell me what you know. I'm really not interested in staying here longer than I need to. Tell me what you know. All right, all right. I remember it being clearly upset, and they were taking it out in a bottle of whiskey. If I'm not mistaken, they drove across the bridge, headed north. North? That's what I said. Thank you. This whole town is fucking... It's not even a town. It's three buildings. What the fuck is this bridge, anyway? A pint of Nordmead, my good man. I guess it's this bridge here. Yeah, there's, there's like the motel. And that's it. I'll kill all the hobbits. I'll take them all on. They haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> look like a fucking serial killer there with a third person fan. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, well. This looks sus as fuck, doesn't it? I love the way we're not investigating any of these. Well, there's a massive trail of blood, but it's probably nothing. It's probably just leading to a jam then. Okay. Investigate north across the bridge. Yeah, I'll do that. But first of all, I have questions about this man who's had their eye gouged out and deserters stapled to them. How are they attached to this? Well, they're not Addison, so who gives a shit, right? Ha 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 ha. Oh, here's, a, here's her car, probably. Oh, fuck. What is this, Fallout? There we go. Oh. Uh, we have this, right? Somewhere? How do I view that? Seven nine six. Let's try that. Pick up documents. Okay. Lakewood census we found. What the fuck is the Lakewood census? What did I do with it? A dead body found in what can only be referred to as a sacrifice, most likely conducted by someone within the community. Or just the community as a whole. I mean... Whatever happened here pretty recently? See, it just glitched. We've definitely missed a bunch of banana slugs, guys, but uh, I'll take the hit for that. It's okay. I'd like to thank our Patreon supporter, Odie Chatfield, for helping bring this video. Thank you so much for being a super nomkin and supporting us for so long. It's so appreciated. It's thanks to your contributions on our Patreon that this channel even exists now. Like, there just would be nothing without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you to our producer, Alice, as well. Her link's on screen right now. Make sure you follow her, support her, subscribe. All that good shit to her, because she's an amazing Domkin. And if you can't help us out on Patreon, it'd be really appreciated. Link in the description. Let's continue with this adventure, shall we? Let's head up here and see if anything happens. Okay, there you go. Just run off like a complete idiot. Alright, there's a slug there, it looks like. No, that's just a flashlight. Just a tail light that looks a bit yellow. I'm gonna just do this, and hopefully that fixes it. Because if it doesn't, we're fucked, guys. Someone's trapped inside something over there. They're banging. Nope, can't inspect anything. Hello? Help, is anyone out there? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, please help. There's something blocking the door. Maybe that's your name. My name's Albert Bird. Who might you be? It's not important right now. Let's get you out of there, Mr. Bird. Okay, now it's working again. I guess we needed a cutscene. Thank you so much. I've been stuck in there for hours. How did you end up getting blocked from the outside? One thing you'll learn quickly about this town is you can't trust anyone. What is with this town? Nothing's been normal since I arrived. This isn't your run-of-the-mill small town. If you haven't figured that out yet, I'm afraid you might be to come. I'm, uh, if you haven't figured that out yet, I'm afraid of what might be to come. What? What do you mean? Of what's to come. People disappear here. Most of the time, these people are from out of town. I'm actually looking for Addison Mullins. Have you heard of them? You must be talking about the census taker. They've been hiding out in my barn the past couple of days. Follow me, I'll take you there right now. She's going to be totally fucking dead, guys. There's a bedroom upstairs. She's better to find Addison there. This sounds like this feels like a massive trap. Yep, yeah, it was. So 
It's alright, he doesn't know that we're a lock-clicking expert. He doesn't know that we have over 7,000 hours in Fallout 3. Okay. I'm curious as to why that's a big deal. Do you think this will kill him? Oh no, I wanted to push it out on his head. That would have been really funny. Doesn't look like she's actually in here at all. Like, I thought maybe she would be in here as well, like, trapped, but... Looks like Mr. Bird is a lying dickhead. Oh yeah, here he is. Wow, he's got a fucking good clock for an old man. Holy shit. Did I die? We actually gonna wake up burning to death now. Oh wow, well, this is gonna go this is going well. We are gonna be burned alive, guys. For the glory of the hobbits. Oh, we're on like a thing. It's gonna be like the wicker man, guys. Hey everyone, how's it going? You having fun there dancing? Oh, like, she's in on it too. They probably all are in on it, right? Yep. They're all in on it. With their stupid cult. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Welcome to Lakewood, friends. You look so confused. Let me go and I will go on my business and leave you here for good. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I'm sure you've already met the creatures that inhabit these woods. They'll eat anything with a pulse. And in order to keep our townspeople safe, we make occasional offerings. Every year we get people like you sticking your nose in our business, and every year people like you go missing and our families stay safe. Well, it's time for us to go. You're gonna barbecue me, I take it. Why the barefoot, by the way? I mean, I know I am a barefoot advocate, but still. Try to stay alive as long as you can. They like that. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Look at his face. So this is just like before. Oh god, this is just like before. I'm going. Fuck it. Just booking it. <laughs> the one in the rock! Hello. I can't see shit right now. I should probably have the flashlight out. Book it. Book it. Book it. Hello. Oh my god, I- I think I just made it! I did! Holy shit, that was close! Oh god, am I driving? No, this is a cutscene. Thank fuck. Oh my god. Oh, hi there. Just run him over! Oh, that's the end of the game. I quite liked that for its, like, goofy stupidity. <laughs> I quite like that for how stupid it was. That was a fun little 30 minutes of, of ridiculousness, wasn't it? Some nice ideas. I, I liked it. That was fun. Like, yeah, uh, oddly charming. I think it was like a, it was like a buck on Steam. Probably should have been free. Uh, I was made to University of California. There you go.